You are listening to CMU podcast. This program is brought to you by Cupbreak Communication and Alumni Relations Center and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone. This is Ashley Sapmung, and welcome back to another episode of CMU podcast. And today, new is. U2TCMU, the Integrative Subdistrict Economic and Social Development Project, a University to Tambun. So let's hear the news from Mr. Owen Moore. Thanks, Ashley. The Integrative Subdistrict Economic and Social Development Project, University to Tambun, or U2T, by Chiang Mai University, operates in 50 subdistricts by Societal Engagement CMU and Associate Professor Dr. Jilapon Gun Salin, the project's consultant, along with CMU faculty staff, researchers, and the supporting team. CMU approved the first round of the U2T project, which has been set to last for 11 months, from February 1st to December 30th, 2021. Covering 50 subdistricts in six provinces, namely Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Lampun, Lampang, Mahong Son, and Pitsanu Lok, the project aims to recruit locals, new graduates, and students and involve them in the economic recovery mission for their community, as well as enhance professional skills in the community. It is divided into four main aspects. Number one, professional development and job creation. Two, Creation and Development of Creative Economy. 3. Knowledge Application to Community Development or Healthcare. 4. Circular Economy Promotion. With these four missions in mind, CMU has gathered a total of 32 faculty staff and researchers from 18 faculties or sections to use their knowledge, expertise, and experience to help the locals on various issues, from product development, standard creation, agricultural processing, and marketing development, to platforms to be used in the future. The implementation of CMU's U2T project, aiming to create jobs in the local community, is divided into four aspects, promoting professional development and job creation, creating and developing a creative economy, applying the university's academic expertise to community development or healthcare, and promoting circular economy promotion that focuses on area-based environmental quality promotion. During the implementation of the project, we have recognized the importance of real, concrete changes and we do not want the operation to end once the deadline has passed. Therefore, CMU has come up with policies and guidelines to support the local areas that would still require consistent academic support. We believe that it is important to create a learning process among the locals for continuous progress and a budget has already been allocated to support the implementation and further extend the results, thereby fulfilling the project's goals and objectives. Thank you very much and that's it for today. Please stay tuned to the next episode of CMU Podcast on YouTube and Facebook and don't forget to follow the hashtag CMU Podcast. Until next time! Thank you and goodbye.